Alexa, what's the best car repair channel on YouTube? Bunny's Garage is the best car repair video channel on YouTube. Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. I'm with Budget Bob. Hey. Who lives in um, California, but we're going to go over the oil change. This car is actually his car that he bought for his kid. And we're just going to talk about our experience in changing oil, the fun, exciting times that we had. Oh, yeah. And we're just uh, loosening up the oil drain plug. It's a 14 millimeter. Got to get that uh, crack it open in the beginning, and then after that, you should be able to do it by hand. Pretty pretty short threads on that thing. Oh yeah, and watch. Oh, there you go. Hand. I want to see you do that without getting oil on your hands someday. Is that possible? No. No. But you probably uh, burn yourself too. Hopefully, you notice there, and we'll show you in a second. Uh, always make sure you catch that washer coming off. You don't want to lose your washer in the bucket. There it was. There's the washer on the bolt. There's a washer off the bolt. John, what's your... And you can replace those if you want. That's if what you I was going to say. What's your take on that? Replace I, it every time? No, I only replace them if they're leaking. One thing I've decided is I never crank it down really hard, but I make it just enough that it feels pretty comfortable. And then a few days later, I check to see if it's leaking. If it's leaking, then I can tighten it a few more degrees just to tighten it up good. So we're going to put a link in the description below where you can buy this tool on Amazon. It's a special tool you need to get off the uh, oil filter. Which this is the first time I'd ever had one of these crazy oil filters. I'm used to the all-in-one oil filter, but this thing, you're really just replacing the, we'll call it the guts of the, the element, filter. The paper element. The actual paper element, instead of having a little metal filter. So I actually have one in my hand right now. Bob, Budget Bob ordered it. it has a 3 8 Takes a 3 8 ratchet, the one that's in the video you guys are seeing right now. It's actually a half inch, so just be careful you can which Google one you order. Yeah, you can Google around, find them in different places. Tell I think. them about that tab you were showing there in the beginning. Yeah, we had a little tab there, and that tab just prevents the filter case from rotating. So it basically prevents the filter housing from backing out while you're driving down the road. Exactly. And there we go. Basically just, I guess, hard PVC plastic. And there's that paper element that we're going to reach in and show you. He's nice and dirty. It's tiny too. Yeah, and that's all you're replacing is that piece and the O-ring as well. Did you buy the new one from Walmart, the SuperTech filter? I don't remember the brand on that. I guess we didn't have the box there. So we're just draining all the oil out of the housing. There's not much at all, if anything. And then trying to get that O-ring off there. He's showing that uh, little pressure... What would we call that, John? We talked about uh, oh. spring pressure loaded. Oh, it's spring there. loaded, but it's, um, I want to say, anti drain back valve. Oh, okay. I kept telling him, get a little screwdriver in there so you can grab that uh, O ring, but he squeezed it together and was able to get that hand in. Pull yeah, like, it a, off. like a zit, squeeze it together. There like you a zit, go. And then drop it and in then the look bucket. And then he dumps it in the bucket. What's up with that? You had it in your hand. You could have just thrown it away at that point. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Yeah, micro, whatever. What micro guard. That's micro um, guard. That's AutoZone. AutoZone. No, I'm sorry. It's O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's. O'Reilly Auto Parts. I forget where I got it. Budget Bob looks for the best pricing. I'm just so. looking for good pricing. Yeah, why they don't have? Uh, you would have thought they had a little black O-ring, but uh, the green's nice because now you can see where it's at. The other one was black, but this replacement one was green. Maybe micro guard is racist. Could be. Could be. <laughs> Lube that up a little bit. Make sure you get a nice uh, nice seal. You don't want it dry on there. Don't put it in dry. Oh, yeah. And when you guys install it, um, it's easier if you take the wrench off and just put the housing back in. You're able to feel a little bit, feel the, the element or the housing a little bit better. Oh, there so we I'm go. struggling. I'm trying we, to take it off. There. Now we got it off. There you go. <clears throat> and you can see those teeth and how they why you had to have those special teeth there so they can actually lock in. That's what does the gripping basically there. He's explaining all that. Oh, big thumbs up. You did that right. <laughs> now, what I don't get is you just pulled it off, but then you put it back on the uh, wrench that is. And uh, what we found, it was difficult to feel it on there with the wrench on. So what we ended up doing is taking the wrench off and uh, then have direct feel with it. Uh, you oh, you're pulling really, it off right here. Yeah, pull it off, put it back on. It's just a lot easier to feel. That made sense. And you clean that housing a little bit where the element goes into. Absolutely. I like to clean all that up. 
Budget Bob took a paper towel and just cleaned all that in, cleaned all that out. One problem I had on a regular <clears throat> oil filter was I'd left the gasket on there. First time I changed the oil. You doubled up? In the garage in a little 77 Civic and uh, started that thing up and man, oh. four quarts of oil on my dad's garage floor. That wasn't any good. I learned my lesson there. I check for that, that O-ring gasket every single time now. Don't want to leave the old one on there. Was your dad pissed? No, I just had to clean it up. Maybe he didn't even know. Who knows? <laughs> just like that party he didn't know about. <laughs> there we go, getting it tightened up. I think John's talking about he could see where the uh, plastic was about to bottom out, hitting the metal there. Bundy. See where Bundy's talking about. Yes, Bundy. Yeah, I was just showing you that it will eventually bottom out. Yeah, it got stuck on the housing for whatever reason. Yeah, so a little light tap, that didn't seem to do it. But if we uh, reversed it a little bit, like other things, kind of that, that loosened it back up. And then. Uh, I wonder if it has to do with right the off. quality of the filter or the filter wrench. <clears throat> probably, probably, yeah. <clears throat> if it's not a snug enough tight fit. <clears throat> we drained the oil pan a little bit and then we took off the filter. We put the drain plug back into the oil pan. So it wouldn't be just this continuous drip. We wanted to be able to get to that filter right away. So you put the plug back in. It it's was hand tight. You accu it accumulated a little more oil. So we're just going to get that, that last little bit of oil out that uh, had accumulated there. So just make sure that when you go back in for the second time, they actually snug it up. It doesn't have to be tight. You don't have to be like he man when you do it. Just snug it up. You snug that up too tight and you're just going to crush that washer and it's not going to have any give to it the next time and you'll have to replace the washer more often if you're cranking it down super hard. You wouldn't worry about hurting the threads? Well, the, yeah, that's what I'm saying, but you'd also crush that washer. Um, what did you see? That was like magic. I just popped it on there. Oh, I like to really wipe it down all around. That way, if I come back in a day or two just to check, I don't see any old oil or residue there. I think that's important to do. You can use brake cleaner too with the towel. Yeah. So you just snug it up, 14 millimeter. You can use a ratchet in the socket or a wrench. This is probably one of the easiest oil changes I've ever done. Well, if you look, I love, love the fact that that oil filter, like I said, drips right onto nothing. Nice and easy. Not a big mess. Don't want it. It's not dripping on some oh, arm yeah. or something. There, you never know. Yeah, like in some Hondas, it'll the oil filter sits right above like the lower control arm. Yep. Part so of the suspension. Here we are putting that little retaining clip back in to prevent that filter from backing out when you're driving down the freeway, getting it nice and clean and. Popping it back in. Just snapped in there, no problem. In fact, it was a pretty loose fit, I thought. It is. So now we're coming up on top. We're going to start filling it up with oil. Do you remember how much oil it took? Four and I a half? Think, I think we got four and a half, almost five in there. Maybe we overfilled a little Tell bit. about that, Bob. So here we are. I got an old Pennzoil one quart plastic. Uh, plastic jug there, and I just cut it off and I use that as my. Budget Bob saves some money. <laughs> homemade homemade funnel. Homemade funnel. There you have it. Works great. Works great. Ten years you've Ten, had it? Oh, yeah, at least. I just wipe it off every time. There's oil it calls for? Yeah, 5W20. Yeah. I think there's a big scam on those oil weights. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I think they do it. I think they make the oils thinner and thinner to try to meet the EPA requirements for gas mileage. There you go. I think the engines could actually use a thicker oil. I see. Oh, when you have a big jug like that, make sure you tip it the right way. If you had the handle up, it would burp big time and you'd have oil all over the place. So how you uh, lift that up there is really important. Who needs a funnel? Look at that, I'm hitting right in the center of that <laughs> hole there. Good old budget Bob. But that, that funnel is the way to go. I can make a new YouTube channel based on Budget Bob's there theories. There you go. Saving some money. When you buy something, do you need it or do you want it? That's right. Well, everything's a want. 
even air because you want to live so that air is a want what about water you want to live <laughs> so you want water to live everything's a want what about starbucks you want yeah everything's a want see bob doesn't drink starbucks or goes oh, out no. to eat drink my water takes his wife out on valentine's day with a coupon exactly get it nice and clean there oh nice clean look at that nice clean gold oil there Beautiful. Would you say anybody can do this job? Oh, super easy. Everybody's got to be doing oil changes. Girl in high school? It, it, exactly. It, you know, get you... Get you uh, we took that cover off there because uh, some of the, the little grommets that were holding it in kind of broken off. And that's what uh, seems a little different looking so, there. But you Bob threw it into the trash. Well, we, we held on to it for a little bit, but... Uh, it wasn't holding on anymore. I didn't want to buy any of those pieces to replace. So we're checking the oil there, but your best bet is to actually fill it up, <clears throat> four, four and a half quarts, start it for like, start the engine for about 10, 15 seconds, shut it off. And if you can, let the car sit for about an hour and then check it. But if you can or don't have time to do that, um, put the oil in, drive it, and then once you let the car sit overnight and the engine is cold, that's the best time to check your oil. So I think we had put four quarts in and thought, eh, we can top it off a little <clears> more <throat> as long as I had a, I think it was a five quart container. <laughs> oh, is that it? Okay, we're done. That was it. Thanks, guys. Save Thanks yourself, for watching. Save yourself some money. Thanks for doing this with me, Bob. You got it. You ever been bit by a black widow? No, I don't think so. How's your mom? Good? Thanks upstairs. Just...